there's yeah. always, yeah. you kind of want the ball with the hint of, I like really having the hint of a movement. Like I'm a fader of the ball. That's yeah. So most of my shots are going to go with the hint of fade. But if I ever want it, you know, in whatever case, if I wanted to go straight with a hint of a draw, I just put it back on my stance. You still hit little fades with these? Yeah. It's just my Like, natural. no, I know, but like... Yeah, but I can go with a little bit of normal. I just... You're okay with it seeing it like I that? I have looser hands in this. And it's just kind of go a little straighter. Would you, would, you, would you hit different kind of shapes, Colin? Well, I've been trying to almost hit draws with my wedges. I can't do it from this close, though. Like, because of I, the way I swing, man. I used to spin, like, I used to spin it a lot. And I've been working on, like, hitting this the one hop. You know, and you stop. When you draw the ball, you take and spin off. Exactly. I try to, if I want to shallow it out, I'll go with the draw. That's my feel. Shallow it out. So yeah, so, I think so it helps a lot. Back pin draw? Uh, either, whatever it is, honestly, even that one. Like, if you want to shallow it out, it's a feel of a draw in my case. It's a little bit thin. Yeah. Like, it feels thinner, yeah, yeah, but it's really not. It's pretty good. Pretty good. I like it a lot. Pretty good. Just trying to find the other. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. I like it. That it's going to just shoot up and knuckle. Let me just catch Colin. He's just put the sticker on this. So this is a freshie, just this with the sticker the off. This is the freshie. Okay. This is the 10. The other one was the 14 with like okay, a kind cool. of... So you're just trying out the different bounces. Yeah. And look at that in between the grooves. That sounds, yeah. feels so nice. Yeah. Nothing like hitting a brand new wedge, hey? It just clips. Yeah. But it feels different than this one. Yeah. So you playing with two different bounces here. Talk to me about what you're looking for in these initial test shots. Yeah, uh, just how it comes through. I mean, I, I want it to glide through, like DJ said, not grab and dig. Yeah. Because I, I sometimes I go steep, and that's what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to shallow it out more. OK. Um, but that first, like that one, when I hit it, I could feel the leading edge just dig a little too much. Yeah. And then it, it's not like it digs and stays, but I don't want to feel that grab and tension against. I when want you it just look to just slide through. Patterns when you're doing that? A little bit. Um, but like these were much better than that one. I was really short, just yeah. jabby almost. When you play golf in these pro ams and you see the Amis, what's the biggest thing that on their wedges you wish they did differently? I wish they just stayed down. Yeah. I mean, they try and get the ball up, no matter how they try and use their entire body. And um, I think it's just important just to get that contact. You, know, you got to you got 60 degrees of loft in your hand, if not more, yeah. opening it up. Like yeah. it's gonna, it's gonna get you're gonna get a lot of spin. It's gonna get up, no problem. That was jumping all over the place. I was in the hole. I know, and then someone behind you followed it in. What? Was that third shot with that wedge? Uh, no, maybe like 12th. <laughs> oh, do you always want to play to a number? Or do you ever get to a distance where it's just feel? Like, where's the boundary between, okay, this is my 50 yard swing, yeah. this is my. It's like for, the, for them it was 85, for me it's 75. Once I get under that, uh, especially like around 60 and under, it's a lot of feel. It's almost like just a big chip shot for me. And then wrist hinge, do you take that out on a big chip shot? And you get into that yardage where you're not hitting a number. Yeah. Do you ever think? Yeah, because I mean, tendency. My tendency is definitely pick it up, get a little steep, come steep, uh, and come down on it a lot. And that's what I have to think about. Just come a little shallow, kind of rotate everything, and use the bounce. That's you, if I think about using the bounce, um, it works out a lot better. High bounce. 
Well, you play yeah, a lot of maps. Yeah, this one, I mean... What do you do if you get The other really ones are only eight, course. though. Yeah. And then this one they built was 14, so I don't know if we can build that with this grind. We can. We can do anything. Like a full Raw faces. Have you? Do you feel that it's improved your spin? Yeah, I, I think just trusting it, trusting it that it's going to spin. I think yeah. that's important. And knowing you with a raw face, you know it's going to grab a little more. That's got plenty of spin. time will you guys all spend on wedges and pitching yeah it just launches higher but it still has uh a lot now i mean this is where you use an amateur uh i did in college i mean that's that's where i knew where i had to work on um so before you got on the tour you consciously knew this was an area you had to yeah and i knew this as a junior i knew this i mean this was i had to get better and it's not like i had to like look at stats and everything i just knew that when you look at someone and like the way I hit a full swing shot where I just know what it's going to do, that's what I want with my wedges. You know, you don't want to think a little more and have to guess or anything. Um, so, I mean, obviously I just got a track man, working on numbers, getting those numbers dialed in. Because, you know, when you do have the chances, short par fours, um, You've got to take par fives, it. yeah, exactly. So what did you do to go about practicing? What did you do to set? So you're standing there, you know, three years ago, you're like, okay, I've got to get better than this. Yeah, How well, did you set out? Did you do what we're doing here and go, okay, three different pins on a green and I'm going to stay in one spot? Or did you go four balls, four balls, four balls? When I, when I did, first, or were you like flipping and thought, when I first started, um, it was almost like I got to change a little technique. It wasn't a lot, but I couldn't, I didn't want to land it five, six, ten yards past the hole and have it spin back every time. So I had to just figure out something. So I pretty much grabbed a 52 degree wedge, my gap wedge, and s tried a different technique and tried getting as much spin on that. Yeah. And then copying that same technique. You don't need to swing hard. Wedges, you, it's not like you need to get 115 yards out of a 60 degree wedge, yeah. you know? So that for me was a big thing where I can get it just to land, take a hop, stop. I know that I'm gonna do that every time. And then from there is more distance work. You know, I'd go, yeah, we pretty much had like a little, strip of grass in college uh, and I'll just go 10 to 80 yards non-stop wow. I mean you could do that for hours I bet oh yeah it's just picking them up that's a hassle but <laughs> don't have to worry about that anymore <laughs> yeah exactly and then do you keep it dialed does it leave if you're not dialed in on that yeah it's something that I, I just always have to keep working on I mean it's something that it's just a little different feel than hitting full shots for me. If you just give me a club and tell me to hit it, whatever. Yeah. You know, it's a little different. And that's what I want to get with these wedges. Um, and I definitely believe I can get there. Yeah, exactly. That's why I still I like having.